we are thrilled now to be joined nice by the lightweight nice Patty Pimblett. Yeah. Great to see you, man. Cornrows still in. Yeah. Congratulations, man, on a big win. I thought you were wicked respectful to Tony after the fact, but he he lit a fuse with you earlier this week. Yeah, he did. He got on the Michigan a little bit, talking a little bit of pony at the press conference, but I think I needed that. You know what I mean? Um, with Jared, it was a little too nice. You know yeah. what I mean? We went into the fight, it was a bit too nice with each other, and... I didn't look the best at all. Well, with that fight, I went in with a little bit of venom, wanting to, wanting to land on him, and I was so happy with the stats I've just seen. And only me and Michael Chandler have dropped Tony in his last right. eight fights. And you don't have a scratch on you after going 15 minutes with Tony Ferguson. That's got to feel pretty good. You know, there was a point on the broadcast where maybe we wondered if you weren't moving as well on the ankle, but the ankle held up fine. Oh yeah, the okay. ankle, the ankle's cool. Everything's sound with the ankle. It was just I blew me load a little bit trying to get him out of there in that last minute of the first round through. I don't know how many unanswered shots it was. I'll have to watch the fight right. back myself and see what it was. But, you know, if it was another fighter, I think I would have got the finish there. But yeah. we all know how tough Tony Ferguson is. What was your mentality going into that third and final round, knowing that maybe your gas tank was a little bit compromised? Uh, no, it's, I know how good my conditioning is anyway. You know what I mean? I know that I'm... Um, like, I done my VO2 max testing not so long ago when I got, like, world-class level, le level athlete. So... The fact that we were going into a third round, I knew I'd be able to take him down and stay on top of him and dominate him. As I said in the cage, when I get on top of you, I'm like a blanket. You can't get me off. You know, you were one of the major reasons why fans were so excited about this year-end pay-per-view. You just had a year off. Your body physically is in a completely different place now. To fans not wanting an extended layoff who want to see you back in there, I mean, UFC 300 beckons. Any thoughts on when we might see you back in there? I wanted to fight on UFC 300, but then when Dana announced it the other day, he said April 13th, didn't he? Oh, the twins! Exactly. The twins are due between the 12th and the 17th. If he would have said a week earlier, I might have been able to come out to Vegas and fly home the next day for it if and get home for the babies, but... I can't, uh, yeah, I can't miss risk missing me, uh, the birth of my first children. Sometimes twins come early, but perhaps that will not be your fate. In terms of this lightweight division and how you stack up in it, there are a lot of people sort of wondering aloud, how elite is Patty Pimblett right now? Is he ready for top 15 opposition? What would you say as to what might be next? And if you have a name on the tip of the tongue, we'll take that as well. Yeah, no, you know me. I don't mention anyone's name. Um, someone mentioned to me before that um, RDA's mentioned me in a tweet or something so that's another legend that I could add to the resume but I just want to fight someone above me you know what I mean fight someone ranked now if I can but with the twins coming I'm planning to spend some time with my pregnant wife and then obviously I want to spend some time with my babies when the first born but I've heard of a rumoured card in July in Manchester which is only 30 minutes for me out so you could see me fight on that and supposedly you do sell some tickets, so uh, perhaps oh. you can help us bag it out in Manchester. <laughs> so in terms of your potential and your fighting prime, as some of our viewers may know, Patty Pimlet could have come to the UFC when he was 21 years of age, could have come when he was 23. You came a little bit later. You're 28. How close are you to your fighting prime? I still don't think I'm near it, to be honest, you know what I mean? Like, as I say, my body's changed a lot in the past year. We'd have took my sending condition a lot more seriously. So... I think in the next three or four years, I'll end up eventually in my prime. Like, I never had any pubic hair till I was about 15. Ah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I don't want it in my athletic primes a little bit later. Well, I thought you really shined at the press conference, as you always do on a microphone, and even more so in the octagon tonight. And I think you're really going to enjoy looking back on this Ferguson win in the years to come. So congratulations, safe travels. As an identical twin, I can't wait to see the little girls. Congratulations. Thank brother. you very much, John. I appreciate that.